In this last video, we are going to talk about the conclusion and the references section of your paper. So let me open up our template once again. The conclusion is short. Now you should be around 10 pages when you get to this point. Please don't pass out because remember, part of that is the transcript of the interview. And depending on how long your interview was, I mean, interview part could be 10 pages. Um, so this is just a guide. There really is not a, um, a great number to put here because the transcript could be long. As long as you're writing full paragraphs in all the places I've asked for full paragraphs, you should have enough information. And remember, when you get to the point where you're in your final drafts and you're not sure, you can always sign up for a project review appointment and what I do is I make a video just like this for you only about your paper. So I'll go through it. I'll give you ideas. I'll point out areas that need to be changed or fixed uh, and give you a chance then to make your edits before you submit. So please make sure to take advantage of that. You use the virtual office link, which is the Meet with Professor O or any of the places where it says virtual office. Um, this one will take you to that page to book those appointments. You can be in attendance, I use air quotes, as in on Zoom for that, or you can not be there and I just make the recording and send you the recording. So don't worry about, is it going to fit in my schedule? What you need to worry about is, can I submit my paper in time for this meeting? So you'll upload your paper and we will have a different, obviously, course announcement for that. Okay, back to this. Conclusion, additional thoughts and opinions would go here. Um, it could be about their psychosocial adjustment. It may not be related to the course material. What other factors may have impacted the respondent's um, experience? Sorry, I have your thoughts and impressions about their life experiences, what you learned from the assignment. Um, you know, the conclusion is about a paragraph. I'm not expecting you to see this huge, long, you know, page. Um, if you can get a paragraph out of this, that would be great. Um, remember that this assignment is the culmination of what you've learned in this course. And because we don't have a final exam, uh, this counts for the final and the research component that I have to make sure that we do. So I am grading for proficiency and mastery, not just effort. Well, you tried, but you have no citations, no references, no use of key terms or theories. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. So proficiency and mastery, I strongly suggest you see a tutor or have a tutor review your paper. This is a significant part of your grade and following the directions is important. I probably should have said all that again in the beginning now that you're at the end. Okay, references. The textbook is required to be your reference, one of them, and I actually give it to you. It is here done in APA format, so don't mess with this get rid of what's in the yellow. You do need to add your four other items that you're using. Like that's the minimum. If you use more than that, that's fine, but they have to be in APA format. If this doesn't say references, this is like my pet peeve. If you put work cited here, I may pass out and then come back to have to grade your paper. Um, please put references because APA does not recognize work cited. It is references. And that's it. So that is like a big thing for APA, which is why I give you a template because, you know, it's a lot of stuff to remember. So there, I gave you two other formats of references, but of course, just like if you use L MLA or other um, formatting formats, <laughs> this is probably a better word, just like my 10th video tonight. There's different ways to format it based on what the resource is. And so this is not obviously exhaustive list, but in our APA module, you have all of these resources in the, on the library website, you have a bunch of resources. Like you can just type into Google, how to cite a website in APA seventh edition, and you'll come up with like 15,000 hits. So this is not like hidden information, but this first one is for a journal article. And remember, the journal articles is the big thing that you're going to have. And this is the format of the reference. Note 
There's no, nothing's in all caps. Note that only the title of the journal and the volume number are italicized. The title of the article is not in caps, you know, just the first letters in proper nouns. DOI, I'm not, I'm not worried about if you have it, if you have, if you don't, you don't. It, that is not a concern. The rest of it is. Now, this one is for a website, and a lot of students like to use websites like the Pew um, Research Center for some information. Remember, you can use things outside of the four journal articles. It doesn't have to only be those in the textbook. You can use other things, and these are the formats for using a website, the reference for a website. Um, so this is the format. This is an example. And since Pew is used a lot, I went ahead and used Pew here. So to cite this, you note that it has three authors, so you can use et al. So the citation in the body, meaning where you wrote, not the reference list, but in the body of writing, the citation would be Horowitz, comma, et al, period, comma, 2018. And I'll type it here so you can see what that would look like. Well, Horowitz at all. Oh, looks like I have one too many things in there. There we go. That's what it would look like in your body of writing, right, to cite this. So, Sometimes websites don't have an author or the organization is an author. Um, and so there's different formats for that. So you want to go back to your website, um, to our course. Oh, this is going to have to be my last video tonight because I'm just really messing it up. Okay. APA help, APA guide right here. Now there's a whole module, but you have a quick link here on the side to an APA guide. It's going to give you some examples and some links to other things. It's called Quick Resources. The best ones are here at the top. It'll have like everything, common reference examples. Here is the reference for the book. These are the pages in the APA citation module that we covered, how to quote, how to paraphrase. Here's how to do a reference for a YouTube video, for a PowerPoint, for any of the course lectures, and then there's information about writing here. So when in doubt, APA guide here or the Madera Library website also has an APA citation guide and you've got it like throughout the course. All right, I'm going to, let's see, make sure we have everything. Yes, we do here. And um, that's it for the conclusion of the references.